seen on the floor. I don't know about it all. But what's the vibe around this team? You know, are you different? Are you lighter? Are you fun? Are you having more fun? What's the differences? And then, of course, Lucy, what have you noticed about your teammates? Yeah, um, it was for sure really serious last year. You know, Caitlin gets really serious. She gets, she's really passionate about it, which we all are too. But, um, I think it's a little lighter this year. You know, there's a lot less pressure with pieces on, which is good. But also, like, we're pushing ourselves to the brink. So um, I think it's it's going to be a good one. Lucy, my question for you. Um, is there something you like to do besides basketball? I mean, do you like to, is there another sport you play or just something you like to do besides basketball? Um, I played tennis in high school. I don't know if I picked up a racket since high school yet. But I love spike ball. I don't have much time to play that either. <laughs> Hannah's trying to get me into golf. I'm trying new things, but all I really do is sleep, eat, and play basketball. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Hannah, what were some of the best memories you've ever played? Deep on you know, Caitlin getting a lot of attention, all of the individual awards. I think it's changed a lot. Um, I think my personality has changed a lot too. I used to be really nervous sitting right here, but now I'm doing okay. Um, but um, yeah, I think I've just gotten more confident on the court, and that'll just continue to grow. I mean, not you're never going to replicate Kate, but kind of be that authoritative voice. How much has Sid kind of slid into that role organically and, and what has been uh, you know, kind of the start of that here? Yeah, I think Sid is more vocal and she leads by example. I think Hannah leads by example a lot. She might not realize it, but she's not as vocal when she does it. But you see her working, you see the effort she's putting into it, and it shows all the young people and, and me, like everyone on the team. Like, all right, this is what Iowa basketball is. Like, Hannah is who she is because this is how she works. So I think Sid is also the same way, but she's a little more vocal about it and gets the team together. She makes sure, like, we're hearing it. And she's done a really good job of that. Lucy, you're from the Philly area, right? Yes. So you, you're from there and you played three years of college ball there. How different is it moving to Iowa City, completely switching up your life like that? Yeah, I think I thought I was going to be homesick for a little bit, but I've just made such good connections with my teammates and my coaches that it does feel like family that I have in Iowa, so I haven't gotten homesick, which is nice. And then, yeah, I'm just at college, so I feel like it's not too different than it was being at college or at home. Do you both have the WNBA in the back of your minds? Yes. I still have two years left. Hannah, you mentioned you feeling like you guys can still score at a high level, but it might be differently than last season. Like, it, in what ways do you feel like it could be different? Yeah, like, I, nobody's going to be pulling up from half court shooting threes. Lucy's really good at the mid-range. Hannah's really good at the mid-range. Like, she gets in there. I don't know what she does, but yeah, I think we'll just... Some of the freshmen are really good scorers, so we'll be prepared to see some of them there. What, what have you, can you just give some insight to what you've seen from the freshmen so far? Yeah, um, take it away from this. She's really good. Um, off the bounce, from three, all of it. Taylor Strumblo, also from first. They're just, yeah, they're, they're all, they're all really good. Yeah. Ava, Ava Hyden. She's quick on her feet. She gets up and down. She's going to school. Just believe it. What about your role on this team as a leader as you watch Gabby Marshall move on, Kate Martin, Caitlin Clark, some players who've been around this program for a long time? What do you want your voice to be in the locker room in terms of shaping this team? Yeah, I think just them knowing that I've been through this and I know what to do and just listening to me um, so I can guide them through that is really important. All right, Lucy, we're moving on to you. You averaged more than 27 points per game last season, as your coach already pointed out, just behind Caitlin Clark. But you're not Caitlin Clark. You are Lucy Olsen. What is it that you bring to this team that's going to be different? 
Yeah, I mean, she was amazing. She pretty much brought everything to the team, so um, I'm not going to shoot half-court shots. That, okay, fair I enough. I guess we can let that slide. Yeah, I won't be doing that, so don't watch for that. <laughs> but, yeah, it'll just be different. Like, I'm going to work my butt off and anything coach needs me to do to help us win the games. I mean, it's going to be all around different, so I think just learning to play with our, my new teammates, yeah. Now, you transfer in from Villanova. You're also an East Coast native. I saw a local news interview where you said upon landing in Iowa City, you already had people coming up to you and your mom recognizing you as an Iowa women's basketball player. Can you break down that story for us? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like Coach Shea is saying, the fans are great. I I didn't even, I was saying I was moving into my house. I haven't even, like it was right off the airplane, driving to Chick-fil-A, getting out of my car to pick up Chick-fil-A. <laughs> And these fans are, like, waving out the window. They're like, oh, can we get a picture? I'm like, sure. I haven't even touched the <laughs> basketball yet. But thank you. Yeah, of course. But, yeah, all the fans are so great, and everyone is so welcoming. And I, I said it earlier, but they were like, yeah, if you need anything, I know you can't, don't know who we are, and we, you can't contact us, but if you need anything, we're here. And I just feel that from everyone in Iowa. I completely agree. People in Iowa are super, super nice. They're also super passionate about basketball. Carver Hawkeye Arena is sold out for a second straight season, despite Caitlin Clark moving on. And a lot of people ask the question, is this momentum and excitement going to continue? Apparently it is. What is it about this fan base, Jan, that has made them so supportive of your team? You know, I, I think the Iowa fans, they're, they're very educated fan base. They are. They're passionate, as you said, but they've been there. Uh, there have been a, a lot of people when, you know, our staff took the job, you know, 25 years ago, they welcomed us and they're still there. And they convinced their friends, you know, year by year to join us. And, uh, you know, I think last year a lot of people came for Caitlin, but they stayed for Kate Martin. Mm. They stayed for Gabby. They stayed for Molly Davis, Sharon Goodman. That was that senior class. But they, they stayed for Hannah Stalky. And they're continuing to be so eager to see what this group can become. And I think that's really the ticket. And I think that's what's so fun about sport is that we can have these generational talents, you know, from the Michael Jordans, Diana Taurasi's, uh, Tom Brady's in pro football. But there's always an, a next person on the horizon. And if we can appreciate those teams and those um, new waves of talent for who they are and look forward and not backwards, uh, sports, in my opinion, continues to be one of just the, the best facets to enjoy life. Go to where you want. Hey guys, media day. Last media day. This is Lucy. Oh, hey. I'm She's Lucy. new. <laughs> She's new to the vlogs. <laughs> new to the vlog. Last media day. Sad. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> okay, do I have to hold it like this the whole time? Oh, no. My arms are going to get tired. <laughs> you can press. Number. Oh, it's going. Oh. Hey, vlog. Is it going? Yeah. We're doing our makeup at Lucy's getting your hair done right now. Um, yeah. That's, Introduce yourself. I'm Taylor Stremlo, number one. Where are you from? From Madison, Wisconsin. Um, What's your color? And my favorite <laughs> color is light pink. But I like every color. Your nails are light pink. Yeah. I just had to do this nail. See if you notice it's a different color from the rest of them. I did it last night, but nobody would be able to tell from far away. So it doesn't matter. Your makeup looks so good. Thanks. It's eating. <laughs> Yay! How do I turn it off? Do you want to turn it off? Top. Uh, this right here. The top right, like that circle. Um, hey vlog! How do I look? Cute! Love it! Well, I like put the brown because I want to match my lips and then I put a blue pink right here so oh. I can look like red. Does I look natural? <laughs> no, it looks good. Thick I look. <laughs> <laughs> you got another one? Kay. Hey guys! Video day! Woo! What's your name? I'm Callie, number 32, freshman. Yeah, and where are you from? I'm from Solon, Iowa. Yes, she's a home girl. Yes! Hometown girl. Say hey! We're just starting. Oh. 
tracking ace so if you're on this video it's because you came here from the Caitlin Clark rookie of the year video right so the uh, women's college basketball uh, had I don't know if it was just Big Ten that had it yesterday but uh, they had their uh, official like it's like a, I want to say it's media day but it's like a um, it's like another media day. They had another media day where they was taking the photos a few weeks ago. You know, taking their photos for the game and the roster pages and stuff. Roster IDs and stuff like that. They did that like a few weeks ago. And then they had the other big, like, media day where they all got dressed up and stuff like that. And, uh, and so, Lucy Olsen did her um, media day with Hannah Stokey. And, look. They were so cute, bro. Like, both of them are angels, man. It's, it's one of the reasons why we love this team, man, because the girls on the team, like, if you would, like, I would direct anybody to watch Kylie Fairbox, um vlogs, even from last year. Like, and you will see, like, just how this locker room is and, and stuff like that. And I know college is a lot different than the pros. The pros is a little bit, you know, a little bit more of an individual thing. But... When you see locker rooms that's this, that's this together, man. And, and I remember, Lucy Olsen is new to the team this year. So, it's like she's got to get used to everyone on the team. And so, for her to already be like, I can tell Hannah Stokey is excited to play with her, bro. She must have seen her tape because she's like this girl. Because I keep telling y'all, like, Lucy Olsen is a point guard, too. So... She's probably already thrilled about getting a ball from her because that's one of the things I know Hannah Stokey was probably the most like um, sad about with Caitlin Clark leaving is that she doesn't have anyone. She she was probably thinking like, I'm not going to have anyone um, who is, is like that. And so that's why I was thinking like, you know what, man? You know what, man? You got a little bit of a point here, right? Like. Like, I was like, yeah, you you kind of got a point here. Like, this is going to be, you know, a little bit different. But when I'm looking at the situation, so when I'm looking at them talk, and I'm just like, wow, bro. I'm like, this is, this is, this is interesting, right? Like, I'm like, oh, my God, man. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be fun this year. Like, this, like Iowa's going to be fun this year because there's a lot of uncertainty. But at the same time, the girls are also confident that they're going to surprise people this year. And I think the girls know how good they are. And they just they need a little bit of time to just get everything together. But um, it, it, it's, one of those, it's one of those things where it's like, man, bro, like, you could tell they can't wait to play, bro. Like you could tell, like they they got this spirit about them where they 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 know they're good, man. And Jan Jansen, you know, she she's look, she has nothing to worry about, man. She's gonna she's gonna end up doing her thing, man, for real. Like she's gonna end up doing her thing, man. Like she's gonna put up spin. It's gonna be the Lisa Bluter system, but it's gonna be her own, you know, little spin on it too. And I'm excited to see like what the differences are from. Lisa Bluter in the last couple of years with Caitlin and seeing 
how the team is going to be under Lucy Olsen and Hannah Stokey at the top. Like, seeing how that all kind of filters down to the rest of the team. Like, Sydney will falter and everything as well. Like, I, I'm excited to see how this is going to look this year, man. Um, but, like I said, the one thing that I noticed, this chemistry is looking pretty good. It, it's got a chance to be another Aaliyah Boston, Caitlin Clark type of uh, synergy, bro. And I'm ready to see this, bro. I'm ready to see this because Hannah Stokey is going to be a much better player this year than she even was last year, man. So this is going to be fun, man. And uh, the one thing that I'm going to say is this, man, for us Fever fans, and um, I know a lot of us Fever fans are Hawkeye, Hawkeye fans, so we're going to be watching this team. But the one thing that I want to know, when it comes to this team, is this. Will we have a chance to see both of these girls on the fever in the future, man? Because, like y'all been saying, number one agenda, draft Sony Central, and this does not mistake that. Do not mistake this for a second. The number one agenda of this offseason, in my opinion, is drafting Sony Central. Then we go from there. But, if we don't get Sonya Centron, we got to go get Lucy Olsen. We got to get one of the two. If they're there, we got to get one of these two, bro. We got to get one of the two, man. And then we need to find a way to get Hannah Stokey in 2026, bro. We got to find a way to get Hannah Stokey, bro. Like, that is the, bro, we got to make it happen, bro. Could you imagine these girls? They're going to have a year to get on the court, right? Lucy Olsen and Hannah Stokey, they're going to have at least a year together, right? We'll know if, you know, Lucy stays for another year. Um, it runs it back. It decides, like, look, I'm going to come out with Hannah Stokey in 2026. But whatever happens, bro, if you can get these two girls on the team, if you get them on the team, you already got Caitlyn there. Let's say it's Sonya Central is there. You know what I'm saying? Lexi Hall's there. Maybe Aaliyah Boston's still there. And then you got whatever, whatever is on the rest of the team. You get that group together, bro? Oh, my God, man. And then if somehow, some way, you could get Maddie Westbell from Notre Dame, who plays with Sonya Centron right now, you get that energy because she's a 6'3 wing. Like, she's a raw type of player that could be just, just needs to be developed. She's 6'3, bro. 6-3 wing. Uh, we're going to do a video about Maddie West Bell, bro, before the college season starts. I'm going to make sure I'm going to do that video before the college season starts uh, for, for Notre North Dame uh, tips it off. I'm telling you right now, man, that, that, that is going to look fun. That is going to look fun, man. We could get, bro, we could win a dynasty with CC easily in the WNBA because I just feel like you put these pieces together. It's, it's going to be fun for us. It's going to be fun for us to see this, man. It really is going to be fun for us to see this. I mean, we'll see what happens with Grace Burgess. She could be a part of this too, man. And Kay Martin. Can we get Kay Martin? Can we get Kelsey Plum and Megan Gustafson? Like, I got a dream team I want to see on the court. I know we're not going to be able to get all those pieces that I'm talking about. But if we can get even a third of them, I'll be happy, man. I'll be happy. But... I'm telling you, man, like, this is, this, this, like, what I saw in these interviews, man, it definitely looks like the, the chemistry is going to be there, man. It, it looks like the chemistry is going to be there, bro. It looks like the chemistry is going to be there, man. Um, make sure y'all go to Hawk Central to get the rest of the interview. I wasn't going to post the whole thing on here. Uh, actually, I got to see if I'm even able to post it. Um... Yeah, I got to see if I'm even able to post it. But uh, if I am able to post it, y'all would have saw it in the beginning of this video. But make sure um, you guys go over to Hawk Central to watch the whole thing. Uh, I think the Big Ten Network has that video for um, for the whole like network thing where they were talking together. But I'm telling you, I see some serious chemistry. And that's why I put that video up. I don't know if y'all seen it already. Lucy Olsen getting along with her a new Iowa Hawkeye t -Wakes at media The first media day that they had a couple of weeks ago. Um, or a few weeks ago. Make sure y'all watch that one too. It's very important. Like, chemistry 
is very important. It's something that never should be overlooked. It is very important to see teammates get along, bro, because it translates. I see it happen way too much on in sports. A team that stays together wins together. That's the that's the saying. A team that stays together wins together, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Um, that is something that we got to take seriously, man. And I'm like, I'm telling you, man. I'm like what I'm seeing, and I like the confidence that they had, saying that you know we're gonna surprise people, because I think they know how good they are, man. They really do. But give me y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, hopefully, I can get these videos up to y'all pretty quick um and we'll see what happens from there man but give me your thoughts in the comment section below let's get to this outro